Uh, police played with the lights, with the light bulbs during MK Ultra. Uh, and so they disabled, they destroyed several bulbs just now within like, I don't know, two weeks or something like that. Uh, mom has bulbs, but she does not allow me to change the bulbs. So, it's everything according to a police scenario. Uh, they destroyed several of them. We don't have bulbs even on a toilet. Uh, and this is what they refer to as under MK Ultra as creating emergencies. They gave a good background about emergencies and then they started to torture on an issue of emergencies and those involved all kinds of issues, hygienic problems they created and now also it's about the bulbs and that kind of stuff. So this is like quite a big considerable issue that we are dealing with right now. Um, this video is not about the bulbs, this, is, this video is about my mother, anyways. It's about my mother, it's about my father, who claimed me that they paid my bills my entire life, basically. It was always, who pays you the food, who pays you this, who pays you, who is paying you. You're dumb, you're lazy, you're no good, you do this, that. Um, so. I also want to make my own statement today. And clearly, the statement I already have made to my mother before visiting father today was. quite a surprising statement uh, because she's 86 and uh, Slovenian state which the news my mother my father my sister my niece everybody for domestic violence against me I was told in the face today that she hasn't worked a single day in her life and she didn't pay one fucking bill in her life. And I told her this after she cut the grass around the house. Uh, she drew nicely uh, on a garden. Uh, tomatoes, potato, uh, she likes to play with this stuff, uh, but we had some other conversation about some other issues and uh, frankly I'm not happy with her because uh, because of her attitude, because her attitude is like she considers me like I am a, I'm lucky to have her uh, she considers me like a, a nobody really shit, dunk, unemployed uh -huh. Something I just had to do because really she destroyed my life. And uh, she has no remorse, she has no regrets. Uh, and so for somebody like this, 
that is more like a, not that it's more like a, but a person like this is a ultimate shit dung of the society of the people it's not even a human being person that behaves like this I think Let me give you a video here to, to clear misunderstanding. Uh, give you a little bit better idea about what exactly I am referring to. I, I did this video when I came home and I really like this video. She really cut grass so nicely. Cut grass really superbly. Yeah. Yes. But I told my mom today she didn't work a single fucking day in her life to work for me. This is the way you cut. Unbelievable. I see everything cut, grass, everything clean. Unbelievable. Well cut grass, maintained. Really superb. I just came home from visit to my father and uh, but I told my mom today she didn't work a single fucking day in her life she always told me about and I'm no good that I never worked she did all this stuff here but she never worked one day in her life. She didn't pay one bill in her lifetime. It's because when I was age seven, she did all this, you know. I had to agree to my parents, to the government, the Slovenian government, to the Yugoslav Slovenian government that their job is a subject to my MK Ultra case. No MK Ultra case meant no job at Kirka Pharmaceutical right there in the background as you see. That's a Kirka Pharmaceutical. Yeah, they had me. Uh, my parents had me with two. All the directors from Kirka Pharmaceutical were involved. One of the directors from Kirka Pharmaceutical uh, played my grandfather, whom I have lost at age four. Uh, and so, so I lost the grandfather. Uh, this was the man who replaced my grandfather, and his name is Boris Andrianich, who was his name, yeah. And this was also the man who built that factory from ground zero. Well, he started one, okay. Um, and it was stated, yes, at age seven, they conditioned my mom, my father, the MK Ultra case. I don't know what the issue was. They probably didn't like one. At age six, at age seven, they didn't like one. Uh, I told you, the Yugoslav system, Slovenia, Republic of Slovenia, uh, who followed this 
Belgrade Moscow Protocol uh, they just they would just tell you where you're going to put your parents in which kindergarten or into a private care who's going to be taking care of them so just like this they told my parents that no MK Ultra case and my parents stated me this my parents wanted me to hear this my parents wanted me my father my mom they wanted me to understand that they are compelled at least I don't think anybody is compelled into the stuff like this that's why I have stated that she's an ultimate dunk in this world in a human form she is an ultimate shit um, you know uh, just like everyone that was involved in NK Ultra and knows me, I was always trying to help you. I did, of course, the same for my farm, for, same for my family. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, mommy, daddy. What the fuck you know when you're six, seven years old? You don't know anything about paying bills. You know, <laughs> you're nobody, right? What are you when you're six, seven years old? You're just six, seven years old. That's all you are. Um, you're nothing, really. What do you know about life? I mean, really. Even I think that I learned when I was five years old more than what people learn in ten lifetimes. Having Soviets in Moscow and here in Slovenia, Serbs, stressing in my face, Isha said, so you, you know, by the way, you shouldn't even, kids like you, you shouldn't even exist. We should have whacked you and stuff like that. Maybe the best was coming from the mouths of the Russians who claimed that just because of the one kid like this, its entire nation that becomes listed as good to go, basically wiped off face of the earth. And so, yes, I agree to that. I agree that supposedly this MKUltra evil just has to be part of my life. Um, well. And then it was this property here, this year. that when father built house the first thing he said to me at the kitchen in front of the mother how it's going to be everything different uh, the house is done it's completed everything is going to be different now see. he said to me in the kitchen when we eat at the table he said to me We moved here, but you don't exist. He said to me, he said, now it's going to be everything different. No, he said, I don't want you to feel here at home. We are here. It's a new house, but you're not welcome here. This was his welcome into the house. He built with my grandfather's money and uh, a loan. He also got from that company right there. Yeah, I mean, this is just the way it was. Um, once you build this house, just as I stated, uh, he built the house by selling the house from his father, from my grandfather, and even took loan, which was extremely idiotic thing to do, uh, especially because with the loan alone, he could have done a portion of it and then another portion of it uh, and just, uh, you know, he did what he did. He sold a house that is in the city that could yield him a lot of money in rent. Uh, 
built house here in this village, four kilometers away from the city, for what he claimed me because of uh, me. Yeah, she did this because of me. The guy was. Uh, this house is right alongside. I want you to feel here at home. If you pay attention to, this is a right big. We are river here. It's a new home. house, but you're not welcome here. A beautiful river. This was his welcome. And, you know, uh, he did entire life fishing, hunting. Um, his life was really not easy. His beginnings are pretty tough. That's what I was told. All through... Uh, I can't agree with any of it because I know for one thing that my parents are liars and anything they ever stated like people that were involved in MK Ultra, everything they ever stated it was everything was a fucking lie um, probably the worst people in MK Ultra were my parents Probably I would say that nobody was as uh, hateful, fascist as my parents were. I don't think that anybody was so brutal. So a person like this, I would just not believe anything ever. He is my father biological, just like mother is, uh, even that during MK Ultra, uh, psychiatrists like cops and police abused me that they're not my parents and all kinds of stuff. It was like this. They are my parents. Uh, like. You know, you fuck a female and uh, she delivers a child and uh, then it's a state that is free to do with that child whatever the fuck they want. Whether they want to throw one into a special program, do with a child, just as was my case, like let's say Hitler did with some children, they, they experimented on them and stuff like this. Slovenia was more brutal than a Nazi Germany, far more brutal, far more violent. I, I am nothing special. All right. Understand one thing about me. Uh, I am nothing special. I don't see myself as anything special. In a sense, I, uh, the way I defeated myself, probably there could be other people that would uh, defeat themselves like this, uh, do even better, I would say. Uh, but, in a sense, that I was a subject to the degree of the violence. Yeah, I remember when I told you that Hollywood did some movies uh, dedicated to me, literally. That's what they stated me, so that I could carry myself on because of those visits to Moscow and you know the movies like. I don't know, Rambo Commando or whatever it was, Platoon, whatever, uh, a whole list of uh, movies that were really uh, violent movies and they were depicting American uh, firepower, strength. Uh, it's the issues that I have identified myself with 
to counter this Soviet violence, this Yugoslav violence against me, you know, I had to have something, something I could identify myself to even survive, um, to stay alive, basically. That's how bad it was. And so there was this uh, movie they released in 1986. First of all, they, before they released this movie, it was psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. It was uh, Soviets that uh, Slovenian police and so on. Before they released this movie, it was all about uh, and then now, since you have done so many movies for him, uh, you gotta do one movie for me. And it was a whole list of these killers that uh, presented themselves uh, straight in my eyes in front of this American crew. Um, People who, with whom a Chinese Communist Party have identified itself with back then. That was back then, because they did not even know what the fuck went on. Uh, I was identifying myself with, uh, I don't know, with the AR-15, basically, and American flag. Uh, and every regardless of how crazy movie uh, they released uh, just to uh, counter this violence you know when i say violence since earlier i mentioned that i am nothing special there probably would be other people who would do just as good or maybe even better um that's the tricky part. The violence in this movie, which they demanded for them, for them to identify themselves with. And that's why I resented deeply to Chinese. I resented to Chinese deeply this stuff. I resented deeply to Chinese this because um, This whole thing was a British. Yes, I was only 16 when the movie was released, talking about a full metal jacket, full metal jacket. Uh, in case you have not seen, there are two parts. In one part, there is a guy, uh, by the way, entire crew of the full metal jacket was involved in this, who is. Um, just lazy and uh, just doesn't do his shit as he should um, and uh, he's mentally ill and uh, this mental illness explodes out of him uh, once he is he finds himself in an environment that is uh, quite demanding that's for the US Marines quite demanding and um, he just um, can't handle the, the stress and you can see facially basically facially you can see uh, all kinds of stuff that that comes out of him because he doesn't know how to he, he's just losing himself in in uh, in a madness you know, he enters a state of madness and he no longer have control over his actions, basically. <clears throat> and uh, at the end, what he does is he gets really friendly with his gun and uh, now he kills this attended this uh, instructor, instructor, marine instructor uh, that was harming him heavily. Um, well, the whole thing is, it's quite, 
in Spain, and it was done deliberately in a such a way. This was the first movie I participated entirely in it, next to the people who played this movie. And uh, I, I couldn't agree with this, with this Marines already, because first of all, I couldn't agree with the Chinese uh, that they needed something uh, that would be for their sake. You know, so I had a real problem with this stuff, with this movie, that there's going to be a movie that, that now is going to be a Hollywood, it's going to be doing a movie for them. Um, it was easy to realize that everybody is against me, for one thing, that I didn't have any kind of uh, allies, not in Britain, less and less in the US, and uh, not in Asia, forget about China. The movie starts with Marines running, so the red flag which I started to get really sensitive about it. I became a biter of the red flag. I couldn't stand the red flag. Um, Soviet red flag. Um, Marines running with this red flag. I didn't want to have nothing to do with, that, with this nasty movie anymore. I said, get me the fuck out of this. Uh, Thing. I don't want to be here with you guys doing this stuff. And they were doing this stuff to, to, to get the, you know, that's what they interpreted me, to get the reaction, to get the feedback from me. Yeah, it's going to be great. And this is a chance. This is United States of America. You wanted to go to and this and that. And I was like, uh, I don't want to fuck this. I said, I don't want this anymore. Get me out of this stuff. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. And they noticed that the red flag, I said, what the heck, this, this fucking red flag here, this, what is this shit? You know, this is a US Marine flag, and a red flag, I said, fuck you. Get me out of here, I don't want to have nothing to do with this. This is, this is too, too damn insane, the, this whole thing. This is not, this is not me, I mean, because it was like, you like the US Marines, you like, Military, okay, let's let's go. We're gonna do this. Here is the military. Here's the academy. You're gonna run with us, you yeah. know. Uh, so I didn't like any of that stuff. Now I served no army, uh, but I after the movie was released, you know, I I, I started doing boxing and stuff and started to play with that stuff. Because of so much violence that went on against me. The violence that went on against me intensified sometimes like in a sixth grade into something that uh, I had adult teacher, let's say, when I was like 10, 11 years old, uh, who demanded from me to allow my schoolmates to hit me uh, or um, uh, if he had to he would he would he did summon two classes to beat me up because it wasn't easy to beat me up at all uh, I would make kids fly all over the room like like a paper uh, and even that if they couldn't that he would beat me up and he was a tough guy this was a tough guy this Anton Butcher he ran marathons and he was like all pumped man uh, a math teacher um, so we had a deal you punch me one time and okay and the deal didn't stop there um, Oh, I allowed 
kids to punch me. But it didn't stop there. Uh, the, the deal went further. And um, I think when I say punch me, yeah, the kids will punch with everything they had. And I just had to be quiet and take it. That was the deal. And then it would be okay for the rest of the day. So it was like this every fucking day. Yeah. Um, if I had a child that they would be doing something like this to him, that's interesting because my father never wanted to know anything about what's going on with me in the school. He wanted to know from the school what must be done after the school. If something like this would be do with my child, <clears throat> If I wouldn't, if I wouldn't have people stop this shit, I would uh, bring the bombs with me or an AK-47, fucking kill everybody in the school or police station, fucking blow everything. I wouldn't spare a single fucking life. You have no idea what was done to me. So, given this kind of circumstances, I was extremely special. If that full metal jacket, <clears throat> this guy really depicts me really, really well. Because it was really like this, it was exactly what I stated to you. It actually paid off. You see, this was the difference between me and that actor. Now, actually, he was an actor. He had a sister. I know him, uh, a man who was just mentally ill in that movie, and I liked him. I liked him because, at first I liked him a lot, because he, he just, um, you know, I saw that stuff when he was just in front of the squad and uh, when it all started, and, and this guy was really aggressive, this instructor, and was just uh, doing basically his stuff, all right? I mean, he wants to make sure that everybody understands that there will be no differences for anyone, and everybody will be treated equal, even, even bad is equal, at least it's fucking equal. It's not bad if it's equal, right? Uh, but I somehow didn't like the idea that in front of the entire squad outside, he would go and just punch this guy, this big guy, fat guy, that he would just go and, and punch him and stuff like this. And, you know, they, they, this was like academy, and you can see how life is in the U.S., you're like the Marines and this and that, you know. And when, he, when they punched him and stuff like this, and I had to watch that shit, uh, I said, Oh, what do you mean? And, and they wanted to get my, that's basically what they claimed, my feedback. And, you know, I, I told this guy just, you know, that, that Marine instructor, I said, just, just kill that motherfucker. When you have the first chance, what you do is you just, you just pound him out of the fucking existence. And I wanted to make sure that everybody in that movie understands that, that, uh, you know, if somebody does something like this to you and you wear the uniform, you have the right to kill the motherfucker right there on the spot. Just fucking do it. That's it. Uh, and it was the first thing, the first really, really negative feedback. Yeah. When I told my mom today, that she never worked a single day of her life. Uh, she didn't pay one fucking bill in her life. And she cut the grass so nicely. She was cleaning in front of the house and all that stuff. She does. Um, I didn't like the fact that she was, uh, that she boiled aronia and canned aronia, stuff one with the sugar. Aronia is a fruit, a really, really healthy fruit that people usually dry and eat. You know, anything you boil, you really destroy, especially if you load on with the sugar. And she went on to load this thing also with the rum, which is an alcoholic for a 
person like myself, which I still am not, I was still not um, um, examined, or I should say get examination, health examination, real health examination. I still didn't get any kind of examination results. With an MK Ultra, however, I can tell you it was rated that if I will drink alcohol of any kind, which I never did in life, almost, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I really did. Uh, if it would be like, let's say 20% alcohol in my entire life, with the wine, with everything, if you would put into that 20%, it would be maybe two bottles of that, maybe two liters of it for my entire life. That's not a whole a lot. But in 51, almost 52. Um, she cleaned so well, everything so nice, she worked, all that stuff, and, you know. On my way to father today, it was two people that started, one started to blow their lawn in front of the house, the lady started to, across on the other st street, across the street, she started with a broom, she started to clean her uh, driveway, entrance to the house, also. Exactly what I stated me, if I will ever say to my mother, that, uh, you know, what basically she's repeating me all my life, that she's paying my bills, that I'm nobody and this and that and so on, right? So, you know, uh, on my way back from the father, I had a guy, I think he is a Serbian guy, who promised me that if I would do something like this, he would come out on the street with a big bottle right in front of his house, yeah? He would raise one, uh, like you would give somebody a Nazi salute. <laughs> and um, I don't understand what he wanted to say to me during MK Ultra with he, what he demonstrated me, with he, what he will do. He was quite aggressive during MK Ultra. So anything positive, anything friendly, uh, I possibly not even imagine or I should say expect as an outcome of such meetings sometimes in the future when he already orchestrated me the stuff during MK Ultra, it's going to be it's going to take place and I I go very slowly with the car I go past him and he goes behind me all the way to the middle of the road with this bottle that was in the city that was before uh, not too far from Osono Shola Garden well, he did good, he did well, because I identified him, I know who he is, where he is now, that's a good stuff. Um, right next to where used to be this office for uh, state employment office, agency, state agency, where I was tremendously tortured also. So he lives in that street, and um, what that means is, since I told this my mother, she didn't pay a single bill that she didn't work one day in her life and I get this kind of feedback is that this house definitely is video recorded there's no fucking doubt that this house would not be totally not bugged not like that somebody would be listening to this shit this is a fucking video recorded everything so this is a big brother house this house 100% it is And so I got extremely, extremely negative feedback. If I go back to the same guys over there in this movie cadre where they, where they had me on the side, you know, I, I told them what you do is with a guy like this, right? You just go and you kill the motherfucker. Okay, I said, promise me that the first chance you're going to have, you're going to unload on him and you're going to beat him to the ground, yeah. And it was, this was where I supposedly, I was like, 
uh, you know, like in a, in a Seven Wonderland at the U.S. Marine camp. When I did this, it was everybody was like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, man? This guy mentally ill, he's mentally ill. Oh, he's crazy, he's crazy. He's crazy, crazy, la 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 la. <clears throat> well, the thing about it is that, you know, uh, nobody has the right to place a hand on you, especially when you have a military uniform, uh, anything like this, this, this actors, this uh, movie uh, director, which also identified himself as a Slavic or whatever. Uh, yeah, he, they, they did realize that, that they were at fault, that they were wrong, eventually that I was right, that that's how you do it, even that I had not served the army yet back then. Yeah. No, if, you know, if you're an adult man and you wear a military uniform and you have somebody, I don't give a fuck who this guy is, he can be a general, whatever the fuck he can be. The moment he places a hand on you, well, you have the right to kill the motherfucker. If he hits you, you have the right to hit him back and, and pin him to the ground, and I don't care what the fuck you do. If you, if you can, right there, in front of this squad, do it, man, whatever the hell you are. Nobody has the right to do that. You don't do this to adult men, Especially not those that serve the country and are wearing the uniform. That's an insult, not only to adult men, it's an insult to the country. It's, a, it's the biggest insult you can do to the country itself. If the man who doesn't matter to you. So, my ratings. My ratings went down to hell. I had more enemies all of a sudden. It was all about, hey, yeah, yeah, U.S. Marines, U.S. Marine, hey, yeah, you, you know, U.S. Marine, you don't like America, you don't you like America, and we, you are mentally ill. I don't know, probably you mentally ill. Oh, man, and, uh, I don't know, Stanley Kubrick or whatever, this guy, this, this director, of whoever was this, uh, all this uh, information about me, about, you know, studied all this shit about me, how, what, what the hell, you know, what kind of, what, just how far this stuff was done to me. You know, that's, that's why it really angered me when they said to me, and now, you will do one video for me. Uh, when it comes to the British, that's all I could expect. I couldn't expect anything good from these people anyways. British didn't do anything other than back knifing, basically. The only thing they did was they knifed me in my back all along. Um, and now uh, I get a special rating also with Americans. And holy fuck, even with Chinese, and I was just collecting enemies all over the place. I, I couldn't be happy about any of this stuff. And these words, now you're gonna do psychiatrist, better cops, and police. You're gonna do one for me. By the way, psychiatrist, better cops, I don't know anything about this guy whether he even had a license back then already, because I think he was in a process. He was in many processes, and working with the police, and this and that. But there's one thing you have to understand. He was rated by American psychiatrists, by American psychologists, as totally, totally mentally unfit, heavily mentally ill individual. I understand he got his psychiatric license at a late stage in his life. That should not even be the case. 
These are the things you are, you are to understand about this police and about the psychiatrist. Um, and have used one, this is what I was told, to, uh, to harm, to cause damage. Uh, in most, I would say this stuff, manipulative. Because if you look at this guy, at this full metal jacket, who was depicted as mentally ill, you're going to see that he's completely losing himself. And um, he was an actor. And I think he, 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 he was a really, really good actor because I know how, what they have done to me. I was an actor too. My job was to stay alive. His job was to make money. My job was a little tougher. My job was to stay alive. Um, what exactly that meant? Staying alive? Well, I gave you a perfect example a little earlier when I told you that what, what kind of deals that they cut over there in this school, at this grammar school. Eventually, the teacher I was telling you assaulted me during MK Ultra. He did hit me. But at the eighth grade, at the last grade of the grammar school, when I was 14, uh, in front of the entire class, uh, I started to pick up physically, started to exercise. I had ups and downs and ups and downs because it was such a rough world. And at one point what I did was, because he was really aggressive, and at one point even that I was the quietest kid, the quietest. I was not hyperactive. They were trying to kill me through obtaining opinion from my schoolmates, uh, giving the questioner uh, if they think that I am hyperactive. And if the kids would give you that you are hyperactive, eventually they would destroy you. And they couldn't get me hyperactive. I didn't miss any hours. I was the most diligent. Uh, Despite everything, uh, I didn't miss any hours. Even that I knew that the only thing that's going to happen the next day is going to be more violence. And so, you know, at the eighth grade, last grade at the grammar school, he was this teacher who was always picking on me. It was quite astound because what I did was something that nobody ever did. You know, that was actually kind of a dangerous move. I pulled out of my sleeve. Um, that's when he was intimidating me. And uh, he would be intimidating me. He would enjoy and intimidate me for years. But that intimidation that day for him did not come out as he planned because he called me at the, in front of the entire, he would do this in front of the entire class, he would call me up and then he would start to ridicule me with a question that I would have to write on the board and couldn't answer and this and that. And he would be laughing and all kinds of stuff and shit would be fine in me and all kinds of stuff like this. This is the way it was. You know? And you would even get the threats about violence when it's going to be the nearest break. And you would have a bunch of kids going after you and stuff. So, um, that day, I don't know how you say that for, we use the charcoal, charcoal, yeah. Where you write on the board, right? Um, I... I did answer that question that, that he wanted me to answer at the, at the board. And uh, he started beginning to intimidate something that he's going to be doing that kind of stuff. And well, but I asked a question. I asked him, how, what, how would you want him to solve this? Because he wanted to have this solved, I don't know, and some other 
way or whatever the issue was. Um, I just, that, that, that charcoal, I smashed one against the board. And I was looking at him. I said, what, what is it you want, man? I said, what do you want? And it was the whole class, all of a sudden, it was like dead silence. I said, what, what is it you want, huh? I said, what do you want? I said, come on, you're a big guy. I said, come on. Yeah, I was ready to take on that ball with everything I had. And probably he would not even get away very good that day. Because the guys that they would choose to fight with me, uh, adults alone, were afraid to face. You're talking about the big adults that would not have a guts to come in front of those bullies they had. And my problem was that one bully down only meant two other bullies. And if you would get past those two other bullies, it would be more bullies. And there's always a next day. That's how I believe I graduated from a grammar school. That's how I got my maturity. And I think maturity is what's all about. Although I do not embrace, never embrace violence in absolutely any way. But I got my matura, as they say, because uh, exactly, this was the guy who hunted me and wanted me to, he wanted to throw me into the school for special needs, uh, destroy me at all the costs, demanded for me to go to settle for the school for the special needs. And instead I managed to get through the high school and so on. You see, the thing is that the teacher I'm talking about, when I consider the circumstances I was growing up, and as, as really good, talented was this actor in this, what is it, full metal jacket? Uh, that he was playing a mentally ill guy. And he's like, one time, <laughs> like doing like this. Uh, this is basically the way I was. Except that I did this shit because they liked it. And they would give me a break. No, and if they wouldn't give me a break, then I would have to break them anyways. Uh, but the thing about it is, you see, during MK Ultra, uh, this shit was no play anymore. Uh, I learned to play like this, to act like this, um, because of MK Ultra, because of what was done to me during MK Ultra. So the degree of violence was so impossible with psychiatrist Peter Kopsch claiming me that I will have to inquire about the psychiatric assistance or that I will go completely insane and nuts at one point, for which I was always telling the police, yeah, there's just nothing you can do, you know, this is just MK Ultra and you will never actually accomplish anything like that. I don't know what they have done to me, uh, really, uh, one time it was very, very close and I started to completely lose myself in depression during MK Ultra and such a bad depression during MK Ultra they no longer could lift me up and so they had to start to act like uh, demonstrated me, my qualities as disproportionately better than what in reality those uh, strength and issues were, you know. Um, uh, basically, if I recall this, when, when, when they delivered it from the United States, I think it was about like, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe like around like maybe 2000 or something like this, that they, they, the, the violence became so bad that I just, um, they failed so many times to kill me. They failed so many times to kill me. So basically the stuff I'm talking about uh, is connected to survival. 
this is not something that you would be getting anywhere in, in, in a Hollywood, in the movies or something. This is, this is a reality. Those are actors. Um, but when you find yourself in a world like this, yeah, this, is, this is basically not this. That's how they learn. They learn with the, the torture, the killing people. Hollywood is a place where they murder people. Hollywood is the place where they kill people. To, they earn reactions from people by killing people. So then they can go on a big screen and they can demonstrate. They can go and they can then, what they do is they rehearse that whatever they learned from the person from the psychological point of view and so on. There are psychiatrists, psychologists working in Hollywood. It's part of the work, what I stated. Yeah? So people must be killed for the big screen. It's a little bit unethical. However, truth about the very Hollywood, which have implicated itself against me since my early childhood. Oh boy. Um, maybe I took you a little further, far from, but I wanted you to understand what I actually agreed to. Do you understand me? I want you to understand what I agreed to my father and to my mother at age seven, when they demanded from me, from me to acknowledge, in fact, that there is no job, there is no bread, there is nothing unless this MKUltra case goes on. I signed that, yes, I signed that. This is my hat I did. And what I got in return is, is just as you heard on that video, I'm going to play you one more time. My father saying to me, once this house was built, really with the grandfather's money, with a loan from the Skirka Pharmaceutical, that this actually is not my home, and don't think that this is your home. Because I remember him building the house in this village so he can get away from it, so he can get away from the police, so he can get away from these people, from these MKUltra monsters that were ruining his life because of me. And to save me, because it's got to be the way to, to, to get past this stuff. It's interesting to know, really. Once we moved here to this house, that first, really, family gathering, one of the first, during one of the first family gatherings, it was mother who had father. Savo, yeah, before we eat, yeah, and close, yeah, this, we moved here, but don't think that this is your home. Don't think that this will ever be your home. Don't think that this is where you live. It will no longer be like that, but don't think that this is your home. I was, uh, I don't know, probably like 11 years old. No. Oh. When you fuck somebody and you, so that you can just dump the children to the child, to the state, and the state can do it with that child whatever the state is pleased to do, don't think that you are more than biological father or mother. For further engaging in violence against the child if what is in the interest of the state. While claiming one, 
that you're paying him bills that you are, you know, depicting yourself basically that, yeah, see this stuff, this stuff is bizarre, this is fucking insane. Uh, the one who pressed more on me for me to go in a school for the children with mental disabilities was my father who never allowed me to to use anything that would be like chainsaw or something like that and he just considered me as mentally retarded uh, good for collecting the stones good for collecting the branches good you know he would cut the trees and stuff but don't ask just collect the fucking branches just do that kind of stuff you know primitive stuff yeah um <clears throat> basically this kind of attitude this that's why i said this this goes this is this is this is um that's why i said that this is a dung of the humanity I told my mom, you know, I said, you are a fuck from the humanity. You are a fucking smoke. You are shit. You are a dunk. You are the lowest when it comes to humanity. I told her today before I left her to the father, I said, you didn't pay one fucking bill. You didn't work one fucking day in your lifetime. Oh, she's just an interest to me. Issues that are, it, it really doesn't matter what kind of issues. These are the issues I'm going to have to release through the internet. Uh, but the issues are such that, uh, you know, issues that do not really bother me, issues that don't really affect me, even that these are issues that are, uh, you know, that I don't know. I jingled a hundred thousand dollars, which I earned in the U.S., and which which had nothing to do with um, all kinds of stupid stuff that that had nothing to do with reality. Uh, and some is uh, defined provocative in exactly the same manner as to what they hope for father would produce them. Uh, it's the stuff that doesn't, it stuff that really, really doesn't affect me in absolutely any way. It's the stuff I'm resistant. Uh, I don't care about the stuff like this. If I care for the stuff like this, I'll be in the jail already for a long, long time ago. I told my mom today, I said, you know, and it's also the reason I told my mom I have to tell you why I left the United States of America. I told my mom, I said, the reason is, is because I didn't want to go to the jail. I mean, my father was really, really bad. Uh, but I really figured out that staying inside of this household, uh, this is just one way ticket to a prison. And uh, that prison, never came closer to me and in 2013 I had parents uh, lying about domestic violence with the idea to get me killed through the psychiatric hospitalization it was not my parents it was my sister it was um, her daughter a niece uh, with her family, it was the neighbors here who insisted I don't have even the right to live here and all kinds of stuff like this. Um, when you go that far, and um, you know, you are still claiming that uh, you, know, you, you don't do anything other than what I stated, uh, trying to depict yourself through sweeping uh, the yard here and 
cutting the lawn and uh, doing your little field over there. You gotta be an ultimate piece of shit in this world. It doesn't get any worse than a parent that is so weak, that is so disgusting actually, <laughs> that is capable of doing. See, my mom was not successful at, actually, enormous number of uh, insults, lies, she stressed in my face. But when you say to somebody that, that you are, you know, that you are, you know, paying his bills and uh, that you are the one that you are, you exist because of her, because it's the Slovenian state in this case that is so ultra violent that doesn't know actually how to end apologize rationalize that mean what what i mean by this is basically con to have ability to continue to implement violence against one with continuation of the subject accepting that uh, violence total violence is a form of help that's how they had me they had me like you have you would put animal in the cage that's what i really really resented to the people from the black lives matters to this black fascists when they came here and they stated that this is a lab this is your lab yeah. we gonna your lab with you we, we came to see your lab yeah it's my fucking lab yeah that's where the fuck this shit is it's my lab that's why you do your studies you write your news and all kinds of shit and you're going to do something like this and you're going to write something really nasty and they spend a lot of time inside of this house intimidating, lying, insulting, provocating. Yeah. Lab. Lab. A place where they rip your life away from you. A place where they would come and study so they could go to the Washington DC and lie and cry. Ah, injustice, ah, racism, ah, poor me. Look at me, my suffering, shit like this. Like a fucking Hollywood. Exactly indifferent. Like a fucking Hollywood. Using the person that really is tortured to learn from him basically what it feels, how he feels. And then go to the public and use the publishers and basically copy paste that shit. Something the Russians are really good at. I had I had different runarounds with different people. But closer that this lab comes to. They review it as a lab. It's basically a cage where you do nothing other than abuse human being. And he's drugged up. Nowhere took more torture than inside of this house with the police, with the parents, with the neighbors. up to me to decide whether it was apparent that it's something they just have to do up to me to decide whether or it was apparent that I should profit it from that it's up to me to decide to seal the fate as I was told if for the parents that enjoyed in a torture and cried about my both parents or my sister she no longer visits 
cry like a baby to me that well, ain't gonna be coming because of you. It's gonna be cancer, I'll be out of the picture because of you, because of what you said and already this, because you said that already that. So a lot of people, everybody in this thing was only about because of what you said, because you're this, because you're that, because you're that, da 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 da. Nobody wanted to be accountable for its actions. Nobody wanted to be accountable for its actions. So many people that wanted to rescue me. It's what police depicted, demonstrated, pushing my face. Of making sure that for every one of those people, they would have excuse that when I would inquire during MK Ultra about how come that they did not and why don't you and so and who are you this and that because you did this to me, because you did that to me, because you caused me this, you remember what you said, you remember what you did, you remember this, you remember that, you remember la 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 la. This is what MK Ultra is. This is where my 48 years of life went. So this is just the video. It's basically how I do my stuff. To demonstrate to you also the total incompliance with your social norms that requiring people to I know that this is not about, it can be about politeness, nobody expects it being polite and this and that, but all through all, it was instigated, because that's a form of insult. Using a proper language, be polite, be nice. But it's also my form of protest, uh, to, to, to actually place you like on a floor, like in reality. You're watching a real case of MK Ultra. I'm not so bullshitter here. Wasting my fucking time with you. Like, in my case, that would be like actually paying you even respect. By not stressing you in your face what you deserved what you deserve and what kind of expectations do I have from you if you will investigate this case basically a requirement for you to work closely with me for me to get what matters out of this case since you have neglected the laws for so long, since you have used laws to abuse me. I don't think I get anything else to say in respect to this video. Nobody paid any fucking bills to me in my life. There was nobody who paid bills of any kind. I paid a lot of bills. I paid a lot of mortgages to numerous people. And it really doesn't get more pathetic than a parents. My parents didn't even have. What the fuck? My parents didn't have anything. They had this home here, they got the grass, father went fishing, hunting, mother was doing her stuff on the fields, drinking coffee, having friends, having stupid shit if this is the meaning of your fucking life. Basically destroying life to your child, your progeny. There's people like this. When you think about here, neighbors, they had a luxus. 
they had a world of opportunities for them all over the place. The politicians, how wealthy they became. And I think about the video I just did right now. And think about my mother, whom I tried to save at all the costs. But psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who instilled with her, with another psychiatrist, Tatiana Prokshu was involved in this other psychiatrist that made it completely crazy toxic, instead accomplished his role, best to his abilities, what probably he's going to even get raised for doing stuff like this. But so that's the way it goes. That's the game. That's that's how it functions. That's that's how that's that's what MKR is about. MKR is about stealing time to the human being and destroying one psychologically every inch of the way. With main goal, which is basically, if not portray him, destroy him mentally. Uh, make him mentally ill, and if you can make him mentally ill, as it's uh, other health issues that run parallel, you destroy him through the number of other issues that, that are being used. This is what MK Ultra is. This is what the genocide is. MK Ultra is a genocide. There will be people who will be saying, you oh, know, but not necessary. And I'll say, I'll say, fuck you. Don't ever come in my face and say anything else. People that play with this stuff like this should be people that should be hanged publicly, not only jailed, so that the person that they do the stuff to one can actually see how they that lost breath in front of him or in front of her. He should be executed like they do in the US. You know, the capital punishment, but I would say that's too fast. Because it's people like this that are bringing to this world are suffering, pain, and sorrow to uh, disperse their own psychological, I don't know, maybe traumas, who the fuck knows. Maybe we're going to see more than just Prince Harry crying one of these days. Some other royal that is going to be stressing that maybe somebody did something to him or so on and so forth we, we the, the world is full of wonders i don't know why people would but they do stuff like this to other people and what's the most worrisome is it breaks down into the families it breaks down into the families where the family members uh, confront one another like i said i'm not going to be guessing about why? Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch created yet another successful video. That's all there is to it. Today is August the 2nd, 2023. I am going to go and I'm going to play you one more time this video. But I had to give it a, like a deep background about this stuff. So you're going to watch that movie. Um, full Metal Jacket, yes. The first part, no, when you see this person so disbalanced and so mentally ill, uh, that was to depict me and so on and so forth. But the police have used that video, the movie, the entire movie, like a thousand times to misinterpret me issues in numerous ways. Uh, it was not only the Slovenian police that did this stuff, Americans did so they could approach themselves to an Asian culture, uh, a Vietnamese, uh, make friendship with them, portray themselves as a better people than myself. It was more than a movie. It was a really good government business. It was a good US government business, that full metal jacket. Chinese Communist Party didn't get about what went on 
Um, until it became evident that they are going to be sucked by the British royals who video recorded the conduct. Um, what started with um, advocacy for disadvantaged poor people, yeah, that's even what the police investigators involved who butchered, tortured, claimed that they were not wealthy like me and this and that, you know. Um, it ended with these people driving Mercedes, having one home, two home, uh, in some cases millions, in some cases billions, uh, still complaining about me, no longer knowing how the fuck to, what to do with it, because it became dangerous for them. There was communists that became ultra wealthy people, like Jack Ma, let's say, who was so disadvantaged and everything, and he kept crying and kept fighting for the justice when I was inside a psychiatric hospital, basically, without one dime in my pocket, with destroyed body already, ill, sick, overweighted, on those uh, medications, whatever, dying from one day to another, couldn't even talk, couldn't even walk. That's how bad that uh, lobotomy was, those psychiatric medications, in, in, in a big portion of what they refer to as, they refer to that as a side effects, exactly what they did, um, till they realized that it actually that would be the best that they would just whack me basically and then fuck it, the truth would never come out. But it was people that decided that maybe that would not be the best and so on. And so it, it went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, I am quite speechless actually to that stuff. Um, till it became obvious that many of them were not really so, so much communist um, and that I was really, really, my life was basically stolen away from me, that I was actually less than a slave. But, so, it's life, and as I stated, um, compared to many people, probably, maybe I didn't even do it well, maybe many would do better, but compared to the circumstances I was in, this case is quite unique to put it plain and simple. Those people from uh, Hollywood that did uh, actors, uh, Full Metal Jacket, tortured big time. There was a lot of torture involved in it. Uh, and what was unique about the torture, it was repeated and repeated and repeated. They would keep bringing me back to Vietnam and do this stuff. I don't know what they were doing with that kind of stuff. I think they were demonstrating, communicating with the other side through by demonstrating their willingness to uh, to interact rather in a human than uh, colonialist uh, ways of uh, uh, exchange. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video one more time and so that um, you understand
we make clear about this with the Slovenian state. Nobody pay me any fucking bills. I pay you a lot of bills. I paid Slovenia a lot of bills. You didn't pay me any fucking bills. And that's my mother, yes, that's my father, yes. But they didn't pay any fucking bills. You were using them to steal my life. And you continue to use them to rob more, to extort more, to bully more, to challenge more, to harass more, to do more damage. With the idea to cause as much damage as possible. But nobody, nobody paid anyone any fucking bills. The whole world knows here, in this case, nobody paid bills to me. Nobody bought me anything in my life. You stole me my life, but you didn't buy one fucking loaf. One fucking grain. And I wouldn't take from any one of you. Not from the criminals in the US, where I became citizen, citizen in 2000, and who gave the full support to these criminals here because you all worked, you and the whole world worked against me together like a criminal syndicate, you all against one and I against you all and I beat you up, I fuck you up you, the entire world one man nobody did before, but in this case it was one man that fucked you up, all of you every fucking country in the world. Now that's what makes me exceptional. Now, let's play this video one more time. House, but you're not welcome here. This was his welcome into the house. He built with my grandfather's money and uh, a loan. He also got from that company right there, Kirka Pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. I see everything cut, grass, everything clean. Unbelievable, well cut grass, maintained. Really superb. But I told my mom today, she didn't work a single fucking day in her life. She always tell me about, and I'm no good, that I never worked. She did all this stuff here. But she never worked one day in her life. She didn't pay one bill in her lifetime. That's because when I was age seven, I had to agree to my parents, to the government, the Slovenian government, to the Yugoslav Slovenian government, that their job is a subject to my MK Ultra case. No MK Ultra case meant no job at Kirka Pharmaceutical, right there in the background as you see. That's a Kirka Pharmaceutical. And then it was this property here, this year. That when father built house, the first thing he said to me at the kitchen in front of the mother, how it's going to be everything different. Uh, the house is done, it's completed. Everything is going to be different now, you see. He said to me in the kitchen when we ate at the table, he said to me, we moved here, but you don't exist. He said to me, he said, now it's going to be everything different. Oh, he said, I don't want you to feel here at home. We are here. It's a new house, but you're not welcome here. 
This was his welcome into the house. He built with my grandfather's money and uh, a loan. He also got from that company right there, Kirka Pharmaceutical. I had to agree not to come anywhere near here. Last year, when I was cutting the grass, cleaning the stuff, my mother came yelling at me. The same thing was when I cut the grass on the bank and I broke the wooden mate, uh, whatever you put that thing to cut the grass, I don't know how to say. Everything was a problem. Everything is a problem. The biggest problem is when you are a nobody, a real nobody, and you think you're somebody and something at other people's expense. That's what my mother always said to me. I live at other people's expense, when in reality these people have freeloaded themselves their entire life at my expense. I had nothing out of this garden here. I hated this garden more than anything. Because I was unwelcome here, everything, everywhere. I was unwelcome, treated like mentally retarded. With these neighbors here, did you see? Gesturing like how I live in a luxury and all this, that's how it was. Well, I had nothing. I had less than nothing. People have nothing, but I had less than nothing. Slovenia freeloaded itself. Slovenia used to be a socialist state, a socialist country. Uh, and Slovenia thinks that this is just like this. This is how you pay the bills, basically. So abstract, basically. Slovenia thinks that owns me like it owed my parents, basically. That's what Slovenia thinks. After four years, eight years of life, they destroyed me through MK Ultra. After 40 years, 8 years of life, they destroyed me through MK Ultra. Slovenia still believes that owes, owns something, some, something in me, that they have something, that I belong to Slovenia in some way, something. Boy, you'll be fucking surprised. You know, uh, I'm going to put you this video uh, below. Uh, the whole thing. Uh, British apparently think that, uh, you know, life, this is just something to fuck with uh, and do as pleased as long as uh, you can do with a person. Mm, this is something I hoped I am never ever going to be talking viewing, seeing myself in. Uh, I always have seen this kind of stuff in the red flag. You remember the red flag I was talking to you about? <laughs> but the thing about it is that British are the people that really, really believe that when it comes to the human life, this is just something that somebody has to bow down uh, in front of a dirt they'll be eating from the pavement uh, to stay alive 
that dirt, one has to be grateful uh, to whoever they deputize, or I should say they um, use even to hide themselves behind. Yeah, so, um, you know, um, human life is more than this. Uh, human life is about uh, other things. Um, it's about having kids, wife, family, prosperity, doing something, creating something, uh, and not about somebody having his life wasted through uh, ultimate government violence that involves next to the torture against one even psychiatry. What I resented to United States of America the most is that it was always used by the British royals as a, and I couldn't illustrate that on the blog. I didn't know how to. But you know, it's like you would have a shit on your shoes and you would need, oh, let's say something like this. Like a, like a, like a step, steer. And what you would do is basically as you would that's what the British did, they basically like this, they wipe the shit off. Uh, to have their shoes clean. Uh, and have even used the United States of America for something that they want they didn't want to be seen as in this case. They portray themselves to me as one of them, as my being one of them, uh, as my ultimate friend, as the one that sides with me uh, while using, just like the cases with everything, picture blur as much as possible by implicating other parties in it hide himself behind them and it's what really made me wonder about the United States of America a citizen I became in 2000 whether that citizenship has any value whether that's actually <laughs> what the fuck what is the point of all this stuff and these people involved in this since childhood and they would continue to harass intimidate uh, look at the United States, in Miami downtown even, they would come down from Canada, uh, from Britain, and they would intimidate, harass in my ex-wife's store, uh, you know. I just want to say to you folks, life is more than about um, somebody, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Slovenia, um, I'm going to say to you like this. Uh, if you, um, yeah. <sighs> police, uh, attorney, state prosecutor from Slovenia stated me during MK Ultra that he's going to come imp implicate this, in this thing is that he's going to come to me with uh, uh, to visit and talk about all this stuff. That's how the, we're going to start with this. So in this case, that he will drive down from Ljubljana with his car. He will not come even with a, with a police vehicle. Something that's gonna, not going to approach. Um, because it's, it's, it's a, such a degree of violence obviously that is involved in it uh, but I don't know how this is going to happen because because of what still goes on because what Slovenia continues to do because the way they they perceive this thing because the way they because because of the conduct that the way they the way they enforce this crime against me you know um, 
the way they misinterpreted this to the parties involved, uh, the way they they um, the way they continue to portray me, you see. Um, through the stuff I have to continue to do because they just wouldn't want to do their job already in 2010 when this case was proven you know that's like 13 years ago you know all right that's that's all I want to say to you for this video um, there is a whole lot of more stuff I gotta do I don't know where to start how to stop. No. You click the stop button for one thing.